Hello and welcome to a screencast on how to use My Maps by Google. The first question that many people have is how on earth do I get to My Maps? Well it's really quite simple. What you need to do is you need to sign in to Google and then go to Google Maps. Once you've done that in the top left corner you will see the icon that will access more information. You'll click on My Maps and then you will open in my map. So I'm going to demonstrate this. What you need to do is first go to Google somehow and then go to Google Maps. So I'm in Google and I'm going to close that. I can go down here if I'd like to Maps or some of you will just type in Maps and guess what the number one hit is? Google Maps. So we're in Google Maps and on the left, as was mentioned earlier, you click on the options and you will notice the two, four, sixth item down is My Maps. You click that and there are a number that I've already created. You can create a map and you will be taken to a new screen like this. takes a few seconds, but once you're there, one of the first things you're going to want to do is label it. You can see I have a couple of, or had a couple of untitled maps, and that makes it difficult to know what it's about. So for this map, I'm just going to describe it as a tour of Bangkok from my home. I can give more of a description there, but just to be a little bit more expedient, I'm going to move on so you can get to use the tools on your own. I save that and you'll see the title. Now, this works with layers. You can have a number of different things available and as you get better, you'll probably add more layers. But for our purposes, you'll be mainly putting different markers on the map and then showing a route that you're going to take. So for this layer I'm just going to say uh, travel around Bangkok. I'm going to save that. I can add a place by drawing or importing data. You can learn more about that. I suggest you do. The first thing I'm going to do, and one of the things they tell you, is to do a search. So I'm going to put where I live which is Sethiwan Residence, and automatically it'll take me to that spot. I will click Add to my map, and it'll give me all the details of Sethiwan, but one of the options that's really cool is that now I can add some pictures. So I'm going to click Pictures, and I'm going to do a Google image search, and here if I type in Sethiwan Residence, you will see a number of pictures. Now, the initial picture that I probably want is something that shows an overall picture. So I'll take that one, select it, and you can add more. In your window, it'll be bigger. I'm going to click plus, and I think I liked the picture that showed a bit of the pool. And I'll add that one. And I'm going to add one more from street level. And I think it is right here. So now people have a fairly good sense of what the residence looks like. And I can go back to the other pictures. And there you go. So I save that. And if you are in a bigger screen, you will see all the information there. And that's from Setiwan. So the next thing I'm going to add is NIST, International School. Click on that, and again, it has it there. I'm going to add to my map, click a photo. Hopefully, there is under the search. Now I will have to put in NIST. And you'll see some pictures probably from our website so I'll just click that select that and there you go there's our secondary building save that and 
I've got these two items. So let's say I'm going to continue. I'm going to put terminal 21. So I'm going to pretend that I am going to go from NIST after school to terminal 21 and perhaps buy some sunglasses or something like that. Again, you do a search for terminal 21 and you'll get some images. Hopefully something relevant. There we go. That's a pretty good version of it. Again, you could add more pictures, but at least you have one and you save that. So you continue doing that for everything that you want. So maybe I, my next place is Lumpini Park. And I add that to my map. And then let's say I want to go to the Anantura. Oh, and Tara, sorry. Riverside Resort. And I add that to my map. So now I have a number of items and I'm going to close this and any of the, if I click on it, automatically those pictures will come up. So there's how you ha add points on your map. I will do another screencast to show you how to make routes between those points that you've made. Bye for now.